that what always saves this country and what is saving it now is that it is still full of people who just didn't get the word. They did get the words that were down and out. They didn't get the words that China is going to own the 21st century. They didn't get the words that were depressed. And they go out and start things and invent things and create things and fix things and organize things. And they are an incredible source of energy. And we profile them in this book. I think my favorite quote, I know my wife shares this, is from a Marine colonel who, when we asked him, why did you guys do that surge in Iraq? He said, because we were too dumb to quit. <laughs> Thank God. This country is still full of people too dumb to quit. And that's why if we were to draw a picture of America today, it'd actually be a picture of the space shuttle taking off. All this incredible thrust coming from below, that's all those people down there. But in our case, the booster rocket, Washington, D.C. is cracked and leaking energy because it's gotten away from our formula for success, and the pilots in the cockpit are fighting over the flight plan. <laughs> so our country right now, with all this thrust coming from below, can't achieve escape velocity to get into the next orbit, the orbit that will ensure that we pass on the American dream to the next generation. How do we fix that? Well, the penultimate chapter is called shock therapy. Shock therapy is a familiar term to some of you who have studied foreign policy. It's what we decided we needed to administer to the post-Soviet Union. Well, we are now the ones who need shock therapy. For the reasons Michael described, our political system is completely dysfunctional. You can see it right now. We're having an economic crisis, and they're having an election. <laughs> and it's like, it's, I'm not, it's like barely over, barely connected. <laughs> now, we know these people, these are intelligent men and women. And as Michael said, they're really dealing with patterns of behavior that have been built up here in Manly Affluent, district, money and politics, media, uh, over many years. But what the result of this is, is that they are responding to incentives, political, economic incentives that do not correspond to the needs and incentives of the country. So we're, Michael and I are both a big believer that life is about incentives. Change incentives, change behavior. Move the cheese, move the mouse. Don't move the cheese, the mouse doesn't move. We need to move the cheese. We need to show that actually a huge, substantial majority of Americans really want to get back to this formula and want a hybrid politics of cutting spending, raising revenue, and investing in our formula for success. And that's why we believe we need a third party. We need an independent candidate who runs on that platform, whose platform basically involves describing the world we're in and detailing exactly how we can cut tax and invest to get back to our formula for success. Now we go into this in great detail here. You may think it is fanciful, but you need to remember we've had three independent candidates who had a huge impact on American politics, beginning with Teddy Roosevelt in 1912, George Wallace in 1968, and lastly, Ross Perot, um, when he uh, ran with Bush and Clinton at one point, Roscoe had 40% of the vote for his demand that we deal with the deficit. He eventually won 20% of the vote, and he was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he, he thought little black helicopters were chasing him. <laughs> Can you imagine if we had a serious independent candidate running on this agenda? The impact he or she would have today, I, I will bet any amount of money, 40% popularity from the first day, and I, I believe it actually be much larger. Oh, and the two big parties see that. For reasons of their own survival, they will have to appeal to that constituency. We don't believe, we think it is unlikely that a third party candidate could win but as we say in the book, it would be a tremendous act of philanthropy, number one, 
And number two, that person, he or she, if a successful candidate, would have a bigger impact on the country.